Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss the troubleshooting methods to fix the request failed due to a fatal device hardware error. This type of error usually occurs with hard disk drives and SSD drives. When you encounter this error, it can become impossible to access your hard drive and you may end up losing your valuable data. So to keep your data safe and to fix the problem, we'll discuss several solutions to troubleshoot the error. Before getting started, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. In order to understand how to fix the request failed due to a fatal device hardware error, it's important to understand what causes the error in the first place. Here are some of the most common reasons that will make you run into the error on your PC. First of all, your hard drive may have too many bad sectors. The cable that you might be using to connect the hard drive to your PC could be damaged. Your hard drive might be infected with malware. And lastly, the drivers on your PC might be out of date. Those are the most common reasons that trigger the fatal device hardware error. After knowing these reasons, it's time to see how to fix the request failed due to a fatal device hardware error. Corresponding to the different causes, there are some workable solutions we can try. Let's quickly take a look at all the solutions to fix it and access your hard drive without any interruptions. The first method is to verify your hard drive using smart attributes. First and foremost, check the health status of your hard drive. To do this, you can use the WMIC utility on your Windows system. Open up the command prompt and execute the WMIC disk drive get status command. This command will automatically scan your hard drive and it displays its status. For instance, if your hard drive is completely normal, then you'll see an OK message on your screen. However, if there are any hardware related issues, the utility will return messages such as bad or unknown. In case there's a problem with your hard drive, make sure to back up its data before proceeding any further. So that's how this method works. However, if you see the disk unknown not initialized, for example, message, then along with the fatal device error, you have to reformat the hard drive and initiate it again. Let's move on to the next method. This can be done through the Windows official disk management tool. Press Windows and X and then select disk management. Now right click on the hard drive and click on format. Choose the appropriate file system for your disk and perform the quick format. Again, right click the hard drive and then select initialize. Finally, choose between MBR or GPD partition and click OK to initialize the hard drive. If you still encounter the fatal device hardware error, you can run disk check to check the issues. Disk check is used to find all sorts of errors such as bad sectors, potential errors and bad clusters, as well as a whole load of other issues. The disk check tool will automatically scan and fix your hard drive and you'll be able to access it without any hassle. So let's give it a go. Open up File Explorer, then click the hard drive in this PC window and then click on Properties. Switch to the Tools tab and click Check under the error checking tab. Wait for a few seconds and let Windows automatically scan your hard drive. Once the process completes, reboot your PC and you'll be able to access your content on your hard drive. If nothing fixes the problem, it's quite possible that your hard drive has bad sectors. In this situation, you'll have to manually repair these sectors using the official check disk utility. Here's the step-by-step -step process to repair a hard drive using the check disk command. Open up command prompt as administrator on your PC. Then type this into your command prompt and press enter. Make sure to replace X with the hard drive letter that you have. This process may take a while depending on the overall size of your hard drive. So please just be patient. So that's how to fix the fatal device hardware error on your PC. However, if you are still unable to fix the problem, it's most likely that your your hard drive has been completely damaged. In this case, it's important to save your data from that hard drive. To recover data, it is recommended to use professional data recovery software like Recover It Data Recovery. Here is how to recover data from an inaccessible hard drive after a fatal device hardware error. 
We recommend using Recoverit Data Recovery as it can even recover files from inaccessible hard drives. Also, it supports 1000 plus file formats, which means you'll be able to retrieve all of your data easily. Let's quickly walk through the step-by-step -step process of recovering data from an inaccessible hard drive using Wondershare Recoverit. Install and launch Recoverit on your PC, then connect your hard drive to your PC and select it as the location you wish it to scan. It will be listed under the external drive tab. Press next and recover it will automatically start scanning the hard drive for deleted files. This process may take a while depending on the overall size of your hard drive, so please just be patient. Once the scanning process completes, you'll see a list of all the deleted files on your screen. Select the files that you want to retrieve from your hard drive and click recover on the bottom right hand corner to save them on your PC. If you want, you can also check the preview of each file before saving it. So that's how you can fix the request Quest failed due to a fatal device hardware error and make sure your external hard drive is accessible. And in case your hard drive was completely damaged, make sure to use Wondershare Recover It to get back all of your files and save them onto a different storage device. If you found this video helpful, then please drop us a like and a comment down below. If you want to see more future content from us, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get notified of any tutorials that can help you fix technical issues in your daily life. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.